the bell icon to turn on notifications. We've made the files the instructor uses in this tutorial available for free. Just click the link below in the video details to get these. Hello everyone and welcome back to this course on Word 2019 Advanced. We're down in section 7 where we've been looking at dividing up our document using section breaks and page breaks. And throughout this section we've been looking at how section breaks affect other elements in our documents. And in this very quick module, I just want to show you how you can utilize another style of break, and that is the column break. Now, as we've seen previously, by default, when we're working in a Word document, we're essentially working in a one column layout. But we can change the entire document or sections of the document so that it flows in more of a column format, a newspaper style. And when it comes to breaks, you have an option for column break. And this is what I want to demonstrate to you very quickly right now. So we're back in our company history document, which just contains some junk text. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a section and I'm going to put that section into a different column layout. So I want this first paragraph to be in one column, which it is, but I want the next three paragraphs to be in column layout. So I need to section off these three paragraphs. I'm going to click my mouse at the end of that first paragraph. I'm going to jump up to break and I'm going to insert a continuous section break. I'm going to go down to the end of the third paragraph in this section and I'm going to add in another continuous section break. So essentially I've sectioned off these three paragraphs. I'm now going to change the layout of this section. I'm going to go up to columns and I'm going to say that I want a two column layout. And there we go. So the paragraph above is one column. We then have two columns and then it goes back to one column after the section break. Now, all that a column break is, is if you want to essentially break these columns. So I have this first little paragraph just here, and it might be that I want to add in a break or a column break so that everything below is pushed into the next column. And that's all a column break is. So I'm going to click my mouse at the end of this first paragraph in the first column. I'm going to go up to breaks and select the column option. And there we go. You can now see that everything else has been pushed into that second column and we have our column break indicated after that first paragraph. So now that I've done that, I have this bit of blank space and just for fun, I might want to add in a 3D model of whatever this document is related to. And we're just going to select the earth and I can then move that into the space that has been created. And remember, something else you might want to do here is if we go back up to layout and into columns, I'm going to jump down to more columns and I might want a line between my columns like so. So that is it. Just another tool for getting your document layout to look exactly as you want it to look. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next module. If you're not a subscriber, Click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get the files the instructor used in this tutorial and follow along, click over there. And click over there to watch more videos on YouTube from Simon Says It.